Hi there, YouTubers, and welcome to your pronunciation pale. Today's topic, improving loud reading. Can I read well, understand, and not lose my pronunciation trying it? It seems impossible for every English learner, but it's possible. It is achievable. Here on this video, we're going to share some tips with you for you to put into practice and have in mind when you are reading out loud. Number one, identify the punctuation marks. It is very important that when you have a text in front of you, you scan the text and then you spot the punctuation marks. Read on your mind the phrases where the punctuation marks are. Remember that punctuation marks affect our intonation and by affecting our intonation, it affects our pronunciation since intonation is part of our pronunciation skill. Number two, spot words that admit reductions. When we talk about pronunciation, we can classify words in two different groups or types. Number one, content words. Number two, function words. Content words are words that have semantic charge. They have meaning on their own. Verbs, nouns, and function words are words that do not have semantic charge on their own. From these two groups, function words are the ones that are prone to be reduced. But what kind of words can we find within function words? We can find prepositions, connectors, articles, and here are some examples that you're watching at the moment of this video. If you think about it, function words appear in a high percentage of words in the sentences that we speak or that we pronounce. If we use a reduced form, we're more prone or likely to improve our loud reading and by so improving our pronunciation when reading it loud. Number three, lean words whenever possible. Can you do that? Of course you can. First, you need to target words or phrases. Then you need to move positions. And number three, you just sound native-like. Take for example the following verb, look out. It is a small phrase, but in this phrase we can prove the steps that we have mentioned. Look finishes in a consonantal sound. Out starts with a vowel sound. When this happens, when you're reading, you can take the final consonantal sound and join it to the next word which starts with a vowel sound. Not only within this small phrase, but along the whole text. So, look out, it sounds look out. Let's practice. Here we have a piece of text, very small. I'm going to read it for you, and then you're going to spot where the linking appears or if my intonation has been affected by the punctuation marks. Johnny is in his late 20s. He has a car and a huge house. But how has he done it? Perseverance is the key to get what is expected. Could you spot the linked words or the linking phrases? Do you see how my intonation changed according to the punctuation marks within the text? We're going to highlight for you where the links are and also the phrases that punctuation marks affected our intonation to make it sound more native-like. Final considerations. First, follow the steps. These are some simple steps that we have shared with you for you to improve your loud reading. Number two, look unknown words up. If you don't know the word, you don't know the pronunciation, look it up in the dictionary. Look it up. I mean, just to check the pronunciation as well. Next, read and record yourself. Remember, as I always tell you, it is important to keep track of your improvements. Number four, never stop practicing because, as I always tell you, practice makes perfect. So thank you for listening to us and watching us. Please stay tuned for more and see you next time, you Bye-bye.